and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you this week's Morrison's Too Good To Go box. I'm also going to be showing you some of the prep I do with the foods I get in this box. I'm also going to be showing you a meal I make using nothing but surplus foods. So let's jump straight on in and I will show you everything I got in this week's Too Good To Go box. So um, as usual I haven't gone through anything in the box and we're going to pull it all out and check it out together. So let's jump straight on in. So to start off with, I got a bag of ready to eat mixed leaf salad. I got one pack of flat leaf parsley. I got a packet of French style leaf salad. I got another packet of mixed leaf salad. I got a second packet of French style leaf salad. I got a second packet of flat leaf parsley. I got a packet of pea shoots, purple radish and garlic chives salad. I got a bag of naturally wonky carrots. I got one packet of fresh coriander. I got a third packet of flat leaf parsley. I got a fourth packet of flat leaf parsley. I got a fifth packet of flat leaf parsley. Got a sixth packet of flat leaf parsley. I got a single loose courgette. I got a bag of seven tangerines. I got a seventh packet of flat leaf parsley. I got an eighth packet of flat leaf parsley. I got one loose ready to eat avocado. I got one celeriac. I got one loose mango, one loose apple, one packet of fresh chives, a ninth packet of flat leaf parsley, one packet of fresh dill, a second packet of fresh chives, a second packet of fresh dill, one very smashed up box of seedless grape selection, one packet of two little gem lettuce, one packet of dwarf beans, one head of cauliflower, one loose red pepper, a third packet of fresh dill, a tenth packet of flat leaf parsley, a bag of carrots, one small bag of Jersey Royal potatoes, a second packet of little gem lettuce, another head of cauliflower, five loose ready to eat avocado, one coconut, a third bag of little gem lettuce, a second celeriac, one loose potato, two large bunched rhubarb, three loose royal gala apples, and finally a third head of cauliflower. This is everything I got in this week's Morrison's Too Good To Go box. As you can see, it's very salad heavy, but I will work with it and go from there. The total spend was three pounds and nine pence. I've been asked a few times to share how I prep the food I get in the Morrison's Too Good To Go box, so I thought I would do that in this video. I also wanted to show you just an example of a really simple quick meal that I make using all surplus products, so stick around and that will be at the end. To start off with, I am just giving some of the herbs a wash before I do a bit of prep work with them. Some of them I'm going to store in these freezer cube trays with a bit of olive oil and others I'm gonna give them a wash and dry them off and then plop them into some sealed airtight bags using my food saver and pop them in the freezer to use later. <music> herbs in the freezer I would definitely recommend giving everything a good wash and ensuring that it is all nice and dry before you pop it into your storage bags this will help to ensure that your herbs don't suffer any freezer burn Once you have everything bagged up, I would definitely recommend writing the name of the herbs on the front of the storage bag in permanent marker. This way, once everything goes into the freezer, 
you will know exactly what you have and it will be easy to find. Personally, I find taking a little bit of time out after I have unloaded all of the boxes to sort out some food prep just adds in a little bit of convenience in the week and reduces the time I spend in the kitchen. of a meal I would make using products from the Too Good To Go bags. This fish actually came from a spa Too Good To Go bag. Obviously you saw me do the beans earlier. I also cooked the fish using some of the dill I got in this box and some olive oil and also the peppers I had left over and also the salad came in this box. So all together it was a pretty basic meal but it's all come together using surplus food. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below and let me know where you are watching from. And I will see you all in the next video.